Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Techadoo. Um, this video is going to be dedicated to Sunflower Land. Um, one of the projects that you can easily ROI within a week or so. Um, actually, uh, was uh, kind of the first uh, in uh, amongst my group of like friends or anything to introduce this to all my friends. Uh, and they were super happy with this project. Uh, a lot of people actually had made a lot of profits in this project, which is uh, kind of funny but uh, it is also very tricky. So let's move to desktop live scene. So today's video is about chickens. So they did launch chickens. Each chicken is five SFL. Uh, for you, if you're joining new in this game, um, you probably do not have five SFL because SFLs are hard to make and everything, but there is um, a salesperson. This salesperson actually gives you free chicken. So which means that you do not have to spend SFLs or anything. I mean, you kind of have to spend SFL, like which is like some radishes, some carrots. Um, I think not a big deal. Uh, you can easily make those amounts, you know, like 20 carrots or 10 carrots, I forgot. Uh, but once you click on this small guy up here, um, he's, uh, he's a salesperson and then you can actually trade it. Also, in this video, we're gonna share you a secret, secret, undisclosed recipe for cakes so that you can start already planning uh, this has been leaked. Um, I think one of the other content creators uh, also have it. Um, I actually should not show you um, who sent me this because it's a leaked kind of a thing in my Discord. Um, but yeah, we received this info. So... Uh, you guys want to take a snapshot? You can take a snapshot. Um, oh, let me move myself on there. Okay, let me decrease this. Okay, let me decrease myself up here. Hold on a second. There's people shouting for no reason. Okay, so uh, this is the cake recipe. So you'll be seeing, you already know about the, you know, the pumpkin soup, the sauerkraut, uh, roasted cauliflower, radish pie, forget all that. Then there is a sunflower cake. Remember, for a sunflower cake, you do need 200 sunflowers. You need 10, um, you know, like uh, wheat, and you need 15 eggs. That's where, you know, like we were talking about. So total of 15 chickens you can have in your farm. Um, so that's the reason you would require 15 eggs. So it's better to ha rank up on that. Uh, eggs otherwise it's going to take you a lot of time each egg takes 48 hours to hatch so i mean like to lay eggs it's going to be 48 hours for the chickens uh, potato cake is 500 potatoes 10 wheat and uh, 15 uh, this one uh, your pumpkin cake is a treat for goblins uh, so it's going to be 130 pumpkins 15 eggs and 10 wheat uh, carrot cake again 120 carrots rabbit's favorite and uh, it's going to take 15 eggs and 10 wheat so 15 eggs is base for all of these so regardless what you do there is 15 eggs um, and you can check this thing whole out and uh, you can actually take a snapshot of this and uh, you know you can uh, keep this because these are more or less like a leaked recipe for all of your cakes um, now second thing is that if you have ROI'd on this game, for some reason you have ROI'd on this game and you have made your 10 matic back, which is easy to make. Also, token prices are amazing. Um, they were actually doing pretty good. They were doing pretty, pretty good um, like day before yesterday. And that is the reason you need to keep on checking your token, token prices uh, because yesterday they were actually doing, what is this? So they were actually doing 20 cents they're still sitting up pretty high at 19 cents. So this will give you an idea that how big of, uh, you know, like how big of a structure this game has, how amazing burning mechanics this this actually game has, um, because it's not a play to earn NFT. It's a mint to earn NFT kind of a situation. So you minting different NFTs. So Remember, once you ROI on that, there's a lot of stuff that you need to know, uh, which is, again, I've already done gone through this, which is going to be your first clue, which is going to be the Goblin War, I think, which is coming up. Uh, so for that, you have to prep yourself. 
um, and you'll be seeing that I'm already starting to prep myself for everything. Um, I got some, you know, like uh, carrots already done. So try to keep few of these um, and hit goal by goal rather than getting totally disoriented what to do, what not to do. So it's a very carefully planning kind of a game. Uh, I had to get the chickens just because I know the cakes are coming up and uh, the goblin thing or the war thing is a whole month long event. So it's, you have a whole month for this to do. But yes, if you want one free chicken just to make resources, uh, this this is your guy. You click on it. Um, also, I did confirm this that for the Goblin War to participate, you at least need a T2 Beaver. So a T2 Beaver will be, uh, you know, like um, like an Apprentice Beaver, or you can go for a T3, which is our Foreman Beaver. Um, all of these NFTs they stack up. So if you have a Nancy and if you have a Scarecrow, Nancy and Scarecrow stacks up. If you have a Woody the Beaver, if you have, uh, uh, you know, Apprentice Beaver, they stack up. If you have a Tunnel Mole, a Golden Nugget Mole, uh, or a Nugget Mole or anything, they stack up. If you have uh, uh, Tunnel Mole and you have Golem, they stack up. Um, as you know, as you can see, probably my one of my biggest mistakes is to go for this Golem because I had spent a lot of money and resources on this where I could have sold the resources, but that's my mistake. So I'm again trying to be even out on this game. So make sure this game is a very, very greedy game, has got amazing mechanics. But if you keep your, um, you know, like point of view straight, you can make a lot of, you can make a decent amount out of it, which is around about um, like 40, 50 bucks. It depends upon how often you're selling your resources and stuff like that. There's two ways you can do this. When token prices are high, you target SFL. You know, that's going to be like $30 a month, like 20 to $30 a month. Uh, that's going to be 100 SFL. You technically can make 18 to 20 SFL every two days if you are just going for higher crops. But then you have to keep sinks in charge also because now sinks are very, very expensive. So you have to go through all of your crops and everything. And for that, you have to plan everything. When you have chickens, which is 10. I did not go for 15 chickens. Why? Because I have 10 chickens so that I can only use two slots and I can keep the slots for my rest of my SFL. That is my strategy. Uh, so I'm going to keep this. I'm going to use this slot to goblin the, for the uh, goblin wars and stuff like that. Once that's done, these slots will be for my cakes. Um, what will happen with the cakes? That's a very good question too. Well, we do not know right now, but for me, I am selling all my resources. Um, huge problem again uh, with selling resources is for some reason, OpenSea just stopped everything. Uh, you can do peer to peer kind of a sale. Uh, like you, there is no like problem in peer to peer, uh, but that's kind of like you have to trust somebody. Otherwise, you know, your resources are gone and stuff like that. So. I do not recommend that. OpenSea still is the best way where you can literally put up stuff on the market and people can buy it. Um, but interesting to see how much of these are actually right now. And what is the cost of all the OpenSea and everything? So, oh, it's already connected. Let's go to Sunflower Land. Even though, you know, like their creators have been saying OpenSea to remove all their restrictions and everything, but let's see okay the more prices are pretty cheap 32 dollars it's been dropped down another well, apprentice beaver tunnel more golden nugget golden nugget why because it's $133 now because there's only 515 owners. So they're trying to be bullish about this. And if you have a nugget, it's probably, you know, it's better to sell this right now. Chicken coop, again, you can make this and resell this 237. Uh, I, th I think it's the highest peak it was selling at a very, very, yeah, it was selling around about $3,000. So once people have a lot of chicken coop, again, the price will go down again, you know, like one of the best, uh, 
NFTs that I wish I had the money for would have been Cubico. As you can see, there's 208 owners, which is now like it was 400 a few days back because all seeds would have been free for you. And Golden Ore, still selling at $3. Uh, it was sitting at $4. Now it's selling at $3.12. But there's a $5 limit. You cannot do anything about it. So uh, we have to wait and see what happens um, with OpenSea because that's what this game's uh, main thing is about. We have to see how OpenSea is open for us to you know, list something uh, in their website under five bucks, but that's something that we have to check. So before I leave, thank you guys for joining in and thank you guys for tuning in. People, those who are bullish about Sunflower Land, uh, make sure that you keep a sane mind and proper calculations for this game because if you get mixed up, you literally, everything crumbles. So go for NFTs that you think would be attractive for people. Uh, I made a huge mistake with Golem because I was just hyped with the Golem and I lost my track. Um, but Rocky Golem was not at all worth it. Um, and I think logical thinking will help you out in this game um, rather than, you know, like me telling you uh, which one because then I am hampering your thinking process. Uh, I'll give you tips. Obviously, I'll give you tips. Um, with those tips, you can go forward. But think logically, have your own strategy set up. Do not try to follow anybody's strategy or anything. Yes, you can either straight away just mint, sell and make your money or you mint NFTs and make more money. But that is kind of risky of a play. But people have made money. A lot of my friends actually have made money. So just letting you know. All right, I'm out. Take care. It was a long, long session today. It was like three to four hours of session today where we've recorded a lot of videos uh, did a small stream and everything um, and uh, see you guys again probably next week till then goodbye I will be dropping in a video if I see um, about Pegaxi because I'm following that project closely and uh, the giveaway I have to plan this because I just do not want to do the fourth round of giveaway on a bearish market that literally has there is literally no trading volume. The moment I see there is trading volume, which is above 30K, um, and I see that they are holding stable, that's where this vis actually will come into play. If there is no trading volume, it's just purposeless. That has no value. For me, at that point, I'm just wasting Matic. And Matic has, again, risen in price and everything. So, all righty. Take care. See you, folks, on another episode. Till then, uh, stay sane. Bearish market, remember this. Be very careful in what you do. Gold wallet or a hardware wallet is recommended. ROI at first. These are the base. I keep on repeating them. I'll keep on repeating them on every episode. So take care of your families and everything. Goodbye.